It's actually a standard feature in ePlan as I showed you before. We have this length that is calculated and displayed automatically here within the schematics and it comes from the topology page. That's where the whole routing is done and this is where the length is calculated. Yet in some cases you don't want to display 61.877 feet. You want to display a different value. So what you can do here in the value units, you can actually decide to change it for length and uh, narrow down the decimals to two decimals. So this would actually give you 18.86 meters. Now, in ePlan, we have also a nice feature called property arrangement. This is true for everything else. So if you change your property arrangements, you can save them save them under a specific name and if that name has been used somewhere else already it will actually change all other cables that had used the same um, same length uh, displayed right another interesting feature of ePlan is the function text uh, path function text so basically what it is uh, you have on one line here you have the possibility to define on the right hand side here a special text a path function text and whatever is on that line picks up that path function text within its function uh, text. So if we go to the next page here where the topology is, and I want to display <coughs> that information, I, I wouldn't display the function text itself. I would actually display off the main function the function text, either common or automatic, whichever you want in this particular case. And of course, the size, you have to be careful here a little bit because uh, you'll have to make it at least 10 millimeters if you want to see it. There we go. Now we have regular wire connect proxy. That information actually comes from the other side here. Now, uh, if you change here the text and you say, okay, this is the entry um, or uh, first uh, limit switch slash proxy PRX, On conveyor one, one. Now this information, of course, will display on the other side. Now you have two things. Here it doesn't fit within the page. I can, of course, move it over, and you can see that it works. But then it's not exactly in the right position. I prefer actually keeping it in its position here. But I'd like to actually see the text, but limited to a certain width. So this is done via the border here. You can actually activate that borderline and you can say okay I want this to be I don't know a certain size let's say uh, uh, four, uh, 4 inches let's try it out text width uh, see what happens I'm just going to move it over here uh, that's way too small so I'm going to do it a little bit bigger maybe 40 inches because remember we're always in this environment here where it's not that obvious to actually uh, see what the width is the best thing is probably to calculate it because we're in a 1 to 100 environment. So let's see how wide we have between, let's say, here and here. If I have to measure this, uh, let's see this in inches. So we display the units in inches. It's 88 inches. So I could easily go and make the border 88 inches. And with 88 inches, that would actually fill the, the line as much as possible, right? Now, as before, I can actually make this a uh, standard display, and I call this here the topo standard. So what happens is any other symbol that has exactly the same, let's say, variant, I can actually pick here for this particular variant out of the property displays. I can actually pick the topo display, and it would actually show me the function text that is on the other side. Other things we can do, actually, to make this a little bit cleaner. I'm just going to zoom in here see this uh, actually this junction box and I want to rotate this junction box I want to just say okay I would like to or I prefer having this rotation here so it displays on the outer side this one here I'd actually prefer this is now a B I'm gonna make it B size I guess that's uh, on that side I'm just gonna rotate it again and I'm gonna pick the C rotation so it's just at the top there and you, you get the picture, right? So you can actually change these. Now, interesting in this topology feature is, of course, the fact that uh, you can move these 
routing points uh, all around as you need them and this will actually make the whole it will automatically stretch and recalculate the length for each of these elements so another thing you can do also if you decide let's say to get rid of this tray here you can delete that tray and you can actually reroute and say okay in this case I'm actually gonna go from this uh, T5 I'm gonna go to my T4 there we go and it's gonna connect like this so we have a reroute any cables that will actually previously went through this uh, first one now go through this new tray and that new tray of course you can give it any name you want in this case here because we are working with the TR uh, previously we did that so I'm just going to use exactly the same TRs, TR5, next, there we go, now we have a TR6, there we go. So we reroute the whole cable thing. Of course when you do this, what happens is the length of each cable will be modified. So if you actually reroute, the cable length will be changed. Whatever was before in here is now changed. Uh, we can also generate different reports. Reports such as, and we'll see here, we can generate topology, routing cables, path, and path diagrams. To set the different forms, you actually go here in the output to page. This is where you actually define which form is to be used. Interesting is to actually combine the topology routing path, because in this particular case, it actually uh, does all the different paths, the different trays individually, uh, and, and one after each other instead of individually on each page. So here I'm using the template technique. I start with the routed cables. I, I'll pay, paste this at the end of the project here. Uh, then I'm going to generate another uh, set, which is the routing path. Also at the end, let's say, of the um, um, project, and at the end. And I'm going to add another report. And that's the last one. It's more or less the bill material. If we have assigned any materials, I haven't so far, but I'll show you if I do that it actually shows up. And I can actually uh, put this one if I want to on page uh, 20. So you define exactly where these different topology reports will be generated. So just by clicking here on the generate report button, it will automatically generate the, uh, okay, it's missing a translation file. It's just a small error of mine. I just click OK, OK, and it will actually run through. And here, I haven't really looked at the translation. So here we have uh, cable information, all the different cables we have. Uh, here are the routing path diagrams. I'll change actually that form. And here is the cable, um, routed cables. And we can see actually through where they are routed, what exactly the length is for each of these cables. We're talking about meters, of course, in this case, and what type of cables they are. And we also show you the source and the target. Now, uh, if I go uh, on the routing path list, this will show you actually the material and the length for the different trays, what they uh, will be. So uh, if I go back actually to the routing path and I want a different report, let's try a different report here. I'm going to go right in here in the output to page go down to the routing diagram. I could actually pick a different report here, or what I could also do is specifically in here for this one, I could actually change the form. So here I could actually choose this form, and we'll see what the difference is. And there we go. This will actually give me the routed path for all the different trays, okay? And there we have now the different length that got generated for each of them. So it's quite interesting. These are actually pull lists that uh, can be uh, generated for the different uh, trays. And uh, you can play on these reports. There are many things we can do, actually. It's no big deal. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions, call your uh, ePlan rep. They will show you, actually, how interesting uh, all these reports can be modified to exactly match what you need. Thank you.